All right, you guys liked when I did this last time, so today I asked another one of my friends who doesn't really pay attention to hockey at all, probably doesn't know much about it in general. So, yeah, let's go ahead and start creating a team, and then I will put the team together. Just a quick overview for those of you that may have not seen the first installment of this. I created a Google form, which consisted of 20 questions, four Players were available each question, 12 forwards, 6 defensemen, 2 goalies, and I sent it to my friend who didn't really know anything about hockey to see if we could get lucky and essentially just, you know, have a random team put together. So I've done that once again today, I've changed up the players, and yeah, I'm gonna see if we can maybe try to get a little bit of a better team. I know we had some feedback last time, tried to throw a couple more superstars in there, so... Let's see how this one turns out. I'm just keeping, well, maybe not. I was gonna say, I'm just keeping the default colors because I really don't feel like putting in any work right now, but I don't know. I feel like I've already made a team with this logo, but I'm gonna do it anyway. First word that comes to mind is bandit, so that's what the team's gonna be. And we'll stay in Burnaby because why not? All right, I literally just changed the jersey number and made the pants a different color, so I guess I'll do that for this jersey as well. Whatever, good enough. We're not gonna see them anyway. All right, now for the interesting part. Let's see who we have had selected for us. So the first one, Nate Mac, baby, let's go. Come on! So far, my friend Jude, if you've watched me stream Rocket League or whatever, you've probably seen me playing with him, but... Anyway, so far he's off to a very solid start, and it's only been one pick. Player number two is Nick Suzuki. That's pretty good as well. Player number three is Matt Duchesne. I will certainly be taking that. That's not bad. And player number four is Blake Coleman. All right, so that will be the final player here. Blake Coleman, so there's our four centers. Player number five will be Chandler Stephenson. All right, the Golden Knights. I was kind of actually a little bit upset when the Caps dished him, but it is what it is. Next up is Marcus Foligno. So, you know, this team's looking pretty solid, actually. After Foligno, we have Sammy Blaze. Okay. 80 overall. That's not bad. That's not bad. And next up is Andre Burakovsky. Okay. Decent. That's not bad. Okay. So, so far, we are definitely making some good jo <laughs> choices. Good choices. That's not a word. So far, Jude has made some good choices. There we go. I was also a little bit upset when the Caps got rid of this guy. But, it is what it is. Player number nine will be Will Nye the Hockey Guy, William Nylander, all right. Player 10 is Blake Wheeler. Wow. All right, we are gonna have a pretty solid team here, guys. Yes! Yes, he picked TJ Oshie, let's go! That's my guy. And the last forward is going to be Jesse Pugliarvi. Okay, to the Oilers we go. Our first defenseman is Kale McCarr. You can't make this up. Yo, I know you're watching this, uh, Judd, so just to let you know, you're on fire. Next up is Slavin. Okay, this is gonna be a good team. This is gonna be a real good team right here. After that, we have Charlie McAvoy. That's another pretty good player right there for sure. He is 87 overall. Holy, I wasn't expecting that. After that, we have Joel Edmondson. That's okay. That's fine. All right, Edmondson, 81. That's, that's not bad. That's not bad. And then after that, we have... Eric Gustafson, okay. We don't gotta go far for him. He's right here. And our final player will be John Carlson. All right. Like, did you look these players up, Jude, or did you just randomly pick a super solid team? Our first goalie will be Thatcher Demko. Yeah, that's that's still solid. And our second goaltender will be... Oh, I, I honestly don't know. I think it's... I always said Dreidiger, but I think it's Dreger or something. I've heard other people say it that way. But anyway, that's who our backup will be. 83 overall. He's only one overall lower than Demko. Surprisingly, we're actually within the cap space, too. Look at that. We have four million to spare. But yeah, this is a very solid team. We do have, you know, some lower spots. But overall, this is like just a team. Like this could just straight up be a team. I'm curious to see what our overall is going to be. So let's see when we get back to the screens here. The Burnaby Bandits are 91. That's definitely a good squadron right there. So I think we're going to simulate quite well, but... Who really knows? I guess we also have to hope for some chemistry between the players as well, because that is huge, apparently. I don't know. I haven't really seen it work wonders for me, but I've heard. So let's randomize the team we're going to be taking out here, and boom, it's going to be the Islanders. Okay, so actually, as of when I'm making this video, they play Tampa in Game 7 tonight, so uh, in about an hour and a half, and I am...
Very excited for that one. Here we go, the Burnaby Bandits subbing in. I think we are going to be a very, very good team. Definitely in contention. 91, which is the same as Tampa Bay, so yeah. We are near the upper limit of the league. All the settings look pretty good. I'm not going to let the coach edit my lines. Fog of War. Uh-uh. Fantasy Draft. We're not doing that this time around. Owner mode. No thanks. Okay. Should be okay. I'm really curious to see what this team actually looks like in the edit line screen right now. Because I'm trying to, you know, sort of envision what the lines might be. But I, I don't really know. I guess we're going to find out in a minute here. But either way... This team is, it's got to be a playoff team, right? You would think. The head coach can help. Uh, no. No, he can't because I'm not going to let him. Get out of here. Best lines. Boom. Well, no, I'm not dealing with that. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Something's got to change. All right, so here's the lines. We got McKinnon, Wheeler, and Nylander, Burakovsky, Suzuki, Oshi, Poyarvi, Duchesne, Stephenson, Felino, Coleman, and Sammy Blaze. And then on defense, I haven't even actually looked at this yet, so I don't know if we can make the chemistry a little bit more nuts somehow, but... I'm fine with plus three and plus one. Unless I can, you know, get like a plus five on defense somehow, but it's whatever. Oh, Kale McCarr's on the third pair. I just realized that. Holy crap. And they still get a plus one. Hmm. Nah, I'm just going to leave it. I'm going to leave it. Just as is. All right. There we go. There's the defense. And then in net, we have Thatcher and Chris Dreger. I hope that's right. So, Nate McKinnon, I'm going to assume, is going to get the most points. Let's say 88. That's just a random predicament. I don't know why I... It was supposed to be a prediction, and then it came out as predicament. I don't know what's happening to me, guys. And once again, I don't even have the morning excuse. I'm not recording this in the morning. But I do have the excuse that it was a long day at work. And I had to do a lot of problem solving today, code-wise. So, you know, it might be a little fried up here. A little short-circuiting, if you will. Anyways, yeah, I don't know. Let's say the team gets 50 wins, and like I said, Nate Mac, 88 points. That's my guess. You go ahead and make yours now, and let's get the simulation started. Wow, the Jackets fired their head coach already. That didn't take long. So I just saw that Columbus was 2-21, and 21, so I'm, I'm starting to very quickly realize why they fired their coach. So the team isn't doing really as well as I thought they would. I mean, it's still a good record, don't get me wrong, but it's not exactly where I expect them to be. Anyway, let's keep the current trading block and enter the deadline just to see who is available and all that jazz. So here we go. Fleury is available. We got Johnny Toes. We got Quinn Hughes, Carlson, Burns, Yandel, Sonk, Barry, Kutcher, Suter, and Spurgeon. So actually, that's a, that's a pretty hefty... Trade deadline right here. This is my favorite screen in the whole game when you exit the trade deadline. It's just a skeleton of the UI. It's very weird, but anyway, let's see which one trade it's going to announce to us because it usually does one. Okay. Louis Erickson! Winnipeg! What are you doing? All right, well, anyway, Vancouver gets Perfetti in a first in exchange for Quinn Hughes, Jimmy VC a six, and Louis Erickson. That's an interesting one. Because of the amount of wins we have, I'm starting to doubt Nate Mack's ability to get 88 points. But, you know, it's, it's still possible. We definitely aren't getting the 50 wins, though. If we don't make the playoffs, I am going to be so confused. So based on the standings there, it looks like we are definitely in the playoffs. So we don't got to worry about that. But man, that, that came way closer than it should have, in my opinion. I really want to see how this team performed. But that that's not good. Nate Mack ended up with 90. All right, so where are we flawed? What happened? So we ended up finishing third in the division with 95 points, which, you know, is, that's still a good season. And if we go to the entire league, we have Buffalo with 107 Jets. Wow, there's a lot of teams way up there. All right, well, that's scary. John Carlson had 89 points too. Wow. All right, well, 90 and 89. And then Wheeler had 74, Nylander 73. Suzuki 62, good for you. But man, there's a bunch of dashes here that I don't like to see. Anyway, well, let's just scroll through the whole thing and check out the entire team. Who did the worst? Joel Edmondson. That's kind of expected. In net, we have Thatcher Demko with a 908 and two... What are you doing? Chris. Christopher. Here's the President Trophy winning Buffalo Sabres. Yeah, you heard that right. Here they are. All skaters. I got Jack Eichel, Victor Olofsson up to 87, Reinhardt, Rasmus Dahlin, Middlestat. And yeah, it's, you know, it's the Buffalo Sabres. So 
that's, you know, you probably know their roster, I'm guessing. I think I'm going to change our lines up a little bit here, though. I want to see if we can, you know, make some adjustments that will increase the chemistry. There we go. Plus three. I'll take that. Nylander, you'll survive. I believe in you. All right. You can play on the second line. And if I move Stephenson up, that's a plus one. That is a plus one. Sorry, Will Nye, but I got to do it to you here. Pliarvi. I'm going to leave Suzuki there. Yeah, I don't, I don't mind that. Nylander can play on the third line. He'll survive. And if we go to defense, we have the same. I want just, let's see if we can make some minor changes here that will benefit. I'm actually going to keep McAvoy up here just because he is, you know. Oh, they both shoot right, though. I don't want to do that. Never mind. Slavin's coming back up. All right. Well, there we go. That's the way it's going to be. There you have it, folks. Edmondson is now on the second defensive pairing. And then in net, we still have Thatcher Demko and uh, this guy who did not really perform. Well, anyways, let's get to our first round exit and see who wins the Stanley Cup. Check out some awards and stuff like that. Pittsburgh Penguins. Here we go. Game number one. Oh, all right. Big win. That's huge. We're up by two. Love that. Keep it going. Nice. Are we going to sweep them? We are going to sweep them. Didn't see that coming, if I'm going to be honest. Keep going. Simulation. We got Carolina. Oh. Oh, no. 2-1. 3-1. We just took out Carolina. Well, then. The Burnaby Bandits are on fire right now. Tampa Bay. A Hello? A 7-1 win against... Don't do it. Don't you dare. Wow, we almost choked a 3-0 series lead. We have the Golden Knights in the finals here. And they are going to make light work of us. They didn't even take it to 7. It was game 6. But we did make it to the Stanley Cup Finals, so well done, Judd. You drafted a pretty good team. And Nathaniel McConan put up 29 points in 22 games in the playoffs, so solid, solid. I also realized, yeah, like I went through the roster at Buffalo because I'm so used to doing fantasy drafts, but this isn't a fantasy draft, so you already know the rosters pretty much. It's, you know, I don't have to show you that. It's not like they drafted and it's a completely random team. No, that's the... Golden Knights. That is the Golden Knights. What I don't think I ever showed, though, was the entire league stats. So let's go to the entire league. And Jack Eichel gets the Art Ross. Okay. Shifley is right there with 106. So there you go. The top player is there. And then in net, we have Connor Hellebuck with a 908, 278, and 42 wins in a nice amount of games. Mrazek played one less than Hellebuck and got one less win. So he could have been right there. Freddie Anderson put up 41 and 71. Wow, 71 games? That's a lot. Well, I, I mean, it's not much more than these guys, but that seems like a unrealistic balance. I severely doubt Anderson played 71 games. Did he? No, I, I can't see that. Well, especially not Anderson, because I think Jack Campbell kind of came in and, you know, sort of took over that starting role. But anyway, that's besides the point. Let's get to the trophies here. The Golden Knights, as we know, won the Stanley Cup. Presidents goes to Buffalo. The Clarence as Campbell goes to the Knights and Prince of Wales to us. If we go to individual trophies, Eichel with the Art Ross and the Hart. Carlson wins the Norris. Let's go. Kuznetsov with the Lady Bing. Kaprizov with the Calder. Consmyth goes to Pi Trangelo. Petrangelo, good job. Allmark gets the Vesna and the Jennings. Roy gets the Bill Masterton. It could be Wa. I, I think it's Roy. I'm pretty sure he's a Roy. Anyway, Barker with the Jack Adams. Frank J. Selke goes to O'Reilly. Ico with the Lindsay and Ovi with the Rocket Richard. Here is the playoff tree. So we made it all the way to the finals. That doesn't happen too often in these, in, you know, any videos I make like this. So that's always nice to see. We did get bested by the Golden Knights, but it was still a good series and a great run. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this one, and I am I could probably ask one of them to fill out a form again, or I have some other people I could ask as well, but yeah, let me know if you want to see another one of these guys, and uh, be sure to leave a like, subscribe if you can, that'd be sick, and I'll see you in the next one.